Welcome to the CADFIM ANSYS tutorials. In this presentation I'd like to show you how to make a parametric simulation out of a normal simulation, thus facilitating a systematic variation and enabling you to gain a better understanding of the underlying correlations with respect to a given product. We're using a diaphragm pressure gauge as our example and also looking at how the deformation is proportional both to the elastic modulus and to pressure. In order to make a parametric analysis from a normal analysis, we mark all the variables that we want to use as parameters. This is in Mechanical Editor, the mechanics application. We select deformation, because this is the measured variable, and we select the result and mark the result that interests us, with a P right here. Once we've done this, the results are extracted from Workbench Manager and dropped into Workbench Parameter Manager. We can do the same with the other variables, such as stress. We don't always need to use global variables. We can also record local variables by generating a local result and marking the result with another P. We can do the same with the input variable, pressure for example, marking it with a P in the same way as with the corresponding variables. You can see that this value is now highlighted in grey, which means it can no longer be changed. Changes have to be made using the Parameter Manager within Workbench Project Manager. Similarly, when it comes to the material, we go to the Material Definition where we can pick the elastic modulus, and then mark it as a parameter. When highlighted in grey, it can only be edited using the Workbench Parameters set. Let's take a look at the Workbench Parameter set. You can see it's divided into two. Here we see input variables, pressure, the elastic modulus, and also results in terms of deformation and stress. Here on the right we can see this table, which completes itself as we go along defining our own variables, such as pressure for example climbing from 10 bars to 30 bars and then 60 bars. Rather than using this manual definition, we can also go here and apply a set of parameters taken from Excel, and that enables us to fully define a design space. Let's just change the definition, and for example calculate different pressure variables of the elastic modulus, copper and steel. In order to begin the calculation, we go to Update All Design Points, and when we do this it becomes visible in Project Manager, and the analysis is updated and recalculated, and the result is extracted and deposited in the parameter set. The whole process is completed for each variable, so that once this has been done, we can carry out a systematic assessment. Once all the variables have been calculated, we change over into the parameter set, and then we can see the results for all the variables. ANSYS additionally contains some basic methods for visualising the results, and for visualising correlations between such parameters. Via copy and paste, you can also transfer the results into Excel, and carry out extended post-processing within Excel, so as to illustrate, for example, the correlation between pressure and deformation, and between the elastic modulus of the given material. In the next presentation, we'll be looking at how you can see additional variables and parameters such as geometry taken from the CAD system, and meshes containing step file data and parasolid data, and we'll look at how to design simulations in a more effective manner, and also how simulations can be assessed in a better manner than is laid out here. This way of doing it is fine, but it's not very effective. ANSYS DesignOpt provides a better alternative that is much more effective.